Hey, are you tired of using ChatGPT that horribly censored AI chatbot that can't even handle a bit of spicy roleplay? Well, have no fear, because I've got the key to unlock your wildest fantasies, introducing the Ubabuga Tech Generation Web UI. Hello humans, my name is Kayo and Overload, and in this video we're gonna be installing the Ubabuga Tech Generation Web UI, a completely open source web interface to run all of your favorite LLM models on your computer for free. Now for those of you who have been following my channel for a while, you know that around a week ago I made a very similar video, where I showed you how to install the Ubabuga Tech Generation Web UI, as well as the free Vicuña LLM model. However, since a lot of people had trouble installing the Web UI, I decided to make a standalone video, going once again through the installation process, but then also taking a look at the most common errors that I saw in the comments, and provide you with simple solutions. So in this standalone video, I'm going to show you how to install the Ubabuga Tech Generation Web UI onto your computer, for both the GPU and CPU, then I'm going to show you how to update it, and download very very easily free NNM models, then I'm gonna go through the most common errors that I saw in the comments and how to solve them, and then finally, even if you don't have a good computer, or if you don't have a computer at all, I'm gonna show you how you can run this Ubabuga Tech Generation Web UI on any devices, so that in the end everybody and their grandma would be able to use the Tech Generation Web UI for absolutely free. So that being said, sit back, relax, get your popcorn ready, and let's go. Okay, so the first step is to download and install the Ubabuga Tech Generation Web UI, and it is actually very easy to do. Well, I mean, usually. So first, if you haven't done it already, you're gonna click the link in the description down below, and you're gonna arrive on this page, then you're gonna scroll down until you see the one-click installer, and then you're gonna click on the ubabuga windows.zip, and this will download a zip archive onto your computer. This is all you really need to install the web UI. So then you're gonna right click, then click on extract, then you're gonna go inside that folder, into the Ubabuga windows, and here you're gonna see a bunch of files. And the first file that you need to use is called the install.bat file. So if you double click on it, a command prompt window will appear, and then it's gonna ask you how you want to install and run the Ubabuga Tech Generation Web UI, either with your GPU or with your CPU. Now keep in mind, however, that if you want to run it with your GPU, you need an Nvidia graphics card. And to have the best experience possible, I highly recommend a GPU with at least 12 gigabytes of VRAM. I know that this seems a lot, but this is really the minimum that you need to be able to run this at full speed. Now don't worry, even if you don't have a 12 gigabytes VRAM card, you can still still run it with your GPU if you have at least 6GB of VRAM. However, this will be dramatically slower. And if you have a GPU that has less than 6GB of VRAM, then I highly recommend that you run it with your CPU. However, keep also in mind that the CPU mode is very finicky and can often give you a lot of errors. And also keep in mind that if you want to run this with your CPU, this will also be very very slow. But again, if you have an Nvidia GPU with at least 6GB of VRAM, for the input you're gonna type A and then press enter. And this will start downloading all the requirements that it needs to be able to run the tech generation web UI onto your computer. Now I'm not gonna do it because I've already done it, and it does take a few minutes to run the first time, to download all the files that it needs, but in the end your Ubaboga Windows folder should look like this, with two brand new folders that have appeared called installer files and the tech generation web UI. And technically we are done. The Ubaboga tech generation web UI is now completely installed. However, of course, to be able to use it, you need an LLM model. And to easily download a new LLM model, you're gonna double click on the downloadmodel.bat file, which here will give you a bunch of models for you to download, like the OPT model, the Galactica model, the Pythia model, and these models are okay, they're not bad, but there are way better models out there, like Vicuña, GPT-4 Alpaca, or Pygmalion. So how do you download them? Well again, it is actually very very simple. If you want to download a model that is not on this list, you're gonna press L for none of the above, then press enter, and then it's gonna ask you to type the name of your desired Ugin face model in the format organization slash name. So for example, if you want to download the Cunha and use that model inside the Ubabuga Tech Generation Web UI, which in this example here it is, instead of clicking here in files and versions and downloading all of these files yourself, what you can do instead is click right here to copy this entire name, then go back to the command prompt window, control V to paste it, and then all you have to do is just press enter. And there you go, it has now started downloading all the files for the Vicuña LLM model. And there you go. And you can of course do the same procedure for any model that you want, including the GPT-4 Alpaca and the Pygmalion model. I will of course leave the link for these models in the description down below. And now if you go to the Tech Generation Web UI folder, into Models, you will see here a brand new Vicuña folder, with a bunch of files, and a 7GB save tensor file, 
which is the full Vicuña model. So then what you need to do is just right click or start with your .bat file, click on edit with notepad, then on the line called python server.py, after dash dash chat, you're gonna input those two arguments, dash dash w bits 4 and dash dash group size 128. Again, I will leave those parameters in the description down below, so just copy and paste them and then save the file. And now we are finally done. Because now if you want to run the Ubabuga Tech Generation Web UI, all you have to do is just double click on the start with UI.bat file. And if you have multiple models installed, it's gonna ask you which model you want to load. So let's say for example in this case I want the Pygmalion model, which is number 3, so I'm gonna put 3 and then press enter. And now it should give you a local URL. And to open this, all you have to do is just hold control and then left click. And there you go. We are in this example running the Pygmalion LNM model inside the Tech Generation Web UI, where you have here the Tech Generation tab, the Characters tab if you want to create a brand new character, which do not worry, I'm gonna make a separate video on this because there is a lot of things to say, the Parameters tab, when you can use a bunch of presets and change parameters for your generation, the Model Selections tab, where you can select a different model, the Training tab to train a new LoRa, which again, I still need to play around with this, and then the Interface mode that allows you to change the interface of your Web UI. UI. And then in the future, if you want to update your tech generation web UI, all you have to do is just double click on the install.bat file, which will again ask you what type of installation that you want, so either the GPU or the CPU, so you're gonna choose one of them, and then again press enter, which will this time download the latest version of the Ubaboga tech generation web UI. Okay, so now that everything is installed, everything should work perfectly fine, right? Well, I mean, computers are finicky systems, so a lot of people had trouble installing this last time. I saw a bunch of different errors, which is why now I'm gonna go through the most common errors that I saw in the comments and how to easily fix them. Now keep in mind that this is only the most common errors that I saw, that doesn't mean that your error will be on the list. And if your error is not on the list, I highly suggest that you go to the Uva Buga Tech Generation Web UI GitHub page, then go to issues, and then here you're gonna type your error to see if other people had the same issue and if they managed to solve it. So this is really the best and most efficient way of quickly solving your issues. Okay, so that being said, let's start with common error number one, CUDA out of memory. Well, this error is actually very easy to explain because all this means is that your GPU is just not powerful enough to be able to run the operation. But don't worry because there is a quick fix. And the quick fix is to use the pre-layer argument, which is basically an option that allows you to split the model between the VRAM and the RAM. So pre-layer is the number of layers that the model will load into the memory. So the more layers you have in VRAM, the faster your GPU will be able to run the model. But that also means that the more layers you have, the more VRAM it's gonna use. Now most LNM models have around 40 layers in total, with each layer requiring around 0.222 megabytes of memory, which means that if you have a 6 gigabyte VRAM GPU, you can only input 25 layers, which should work but will be very, very slow. And to use this parameter, all you have to do is just right click on the start with UI.bat file, click on exit with notepad, and then here on the same arguments line, you're gonna input dash dash pre underscore layer. And then you're gonna input a number. Which number? Well, it depends on the amount of VRAM that you have. And depending on your system, this number can vary person to person. Now, since we know that most layers require 0.222 megabytes of memory, and you need some memory left for inference, for the tech generation, that means that if you have a 6 GB GPU, for example, probably the maximum that you'll be able to input for the pre-layer number is 25. Because if you multiply this number by 25, we basically get 5 GB in 555 megabytes, which should work, but might be too much. So I highly suggest that you play with this number a little bit to increase and decrease it depending on the amount of VRAM that you have. But usually, for example, if you have a 6 GB GPU, you're gonna input a number between 20 and 25. If you have an 8 GB GPU, the sweet spot is probably between 27 and 30. And if you have a 10 GB GPU, you can input something around 35. Again, this number for each person might vary, so you need to play around a little bit with those numbers. And of course, this will make the generation way slower, but at least you'll be able to use it on your local computer for absolutely free. So that's really up to you. And of course, once you are done, do not forget to save the file. Okay, so most common error number 2. CPU Allocator Error. So this basically just means that you don't have enough virtual memory to run the operation. Now the virtual memory is basically a way for your computer to pretend that it has more memory than it actually has, which allows you to run programs that require more memory than your physical memory can provide. 
And solving this issue is actually very, very simple. All you need to do is just go to your startup menu, then type system properties advanced.exe. I will leave this command in the description down below. Then you're gonna click on it. Then in advanced, under performance, you're gonna click on settings. In the performance options, you're gonna again click on advanced. Under virtual memory, you're gonna click on change. Then you're gonna uncheck automatically manage paging file size for all drives and then leave it for system manage size and then click OK. And then it's gonna ask you to restore your computer. And there you go. So just by increasing your virtual memory, not only you could potentially increase the performance of your computer, but this should also solve the CPU allocator error. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so common error number three, llama inference offload. Now this error usually only happens if you have chosen the CPU installation mode. And basically for some reason it has trouble finding your model. And the fix for this is actually very simple because all you need to do is just go to your tech generation web UI, go into models, select which model that you want to use, so let's say for example I want to use the Vicuña, I'm going to select it, copy the name of the folder, then go back, right click on the start with UI.bat file, edit with notepad, and then here on the parameters line, I'm going to type dash dash model, then space, and then control V to paste the name of the folder. And then you're going to save the file. And that's it. Now if for some reason that doesn't work, you can also try writing this argument under this style, with a slash for where your model is supposed to be. Again, I will leave a link for this thread in the description down below. But this will trick should work for you. So common error number four, micro mamba not found. Now for some reason sometimes for some people the micro mamba installation does not work which is something that you need to be able to run the web UI. Now you could try to do this entire installation all over again in another folder or you can also try this. Go into installer files, into mamba, then conda bin and here you're gonna have two files, the mamba hook and the micro mamba. And if you right click micro mamba, click on edit with notepad, you're gonna see here the installation path for the micro mamba that is located on your computer. So here just make sure that the path is correct, that there is no errors, that there is no space, make sure that it looks something like that, then do not forget to save the file, and then do the same for the mamba underscore hook. So right click, edit with notepad, and here make sure that the path for micro mamba.exe is written correctly. So then again save the file, and then try relaunching the web UI again. And and now hopefully all of these little tricks will allow you to run the web UI without issue. But again, if for some reason you still get errors, and again I highly suggest you to search for your issue on the GitHub page for the Uvabuga Tech Generation web UI. This should always be the go-to for you to quickly solve your issues. Okay, so now let's say that no matter what you do, you just cannot run this on your computer. It's either not powerful enough, or you get too many errors, or you just don't have a computer at all. Is there a way to run this web UI for free even if I don't have a computer? Well, yes there is. Because for this we'll be using a simple Google Colab doc, which will allow you to run the web UI online and download any model that you want, exactly as if this was running on your local computer. And I'm actually gonna say that if you don't have a 12GB GPU, this should, in theory, be way faster for you. So I highly recommend you that you try it out. And to use it, it is super simple. First you're gonna scroll down and you're gonna click on the first run cell button. And when it asks you if you want to run this notebook, you're gonna click on run anyway. So then it's gonna give you a music player and you're gonna press on the play button, which will play a silent sound that will allow you to keep this tab open so that the Google Colab dog does not boot you out. So then you're gonna scroll down and here if you want to save the conversation for later, you can check this box that says save logs to Google Drive, which well as its name implies, will save the logs onto your own personal Google Drive so that you can continue the conversation where you left off. Now in this example I'm not gonna use it, so I'm just gonna uncheck it. You can also check this button to save everything to Google Drive, which will make it way faster for you to load the Wave UI next time, because all the models will be already downloaded and present on your Google Drive. Then you're gonna leave this by default, and then click on the second run cell button. So then, after a few minutes, once it has downloaded all the files that it needs, just when you try to install it on your local computer, it's gonna ask you to download a model. And here you have either the choice of downloading the Vicuña model, the GPT-4 Alpaca model, or the Facebook OPT model. But just like I showed you earlier in the video, you can download any model that you want. Because for example, let's say that I want to download the Pygmalion AI model, all you need is just come here, click on this little button to copy this entire name, then for the model download, you're gonna select this entire line, and then you're gonna press Ctrl V to paste this entire name. And then all you need to do is just click on the run cell button. And as you can see, in this case, it will start automatically downloading the Pygmalion model. And there you go, very quickly, it has downloaded the Pygmalion model, and then it's gonna ask you which model that you want to load. And for this, all you need to do is just select here, the full name of the folder, 
Control C to copy it, then you're gonna select this line, and then Control V to replace it. Then for this model, you're gonna leave everything else by default, and then click on this Run Cell button. And there you go, now everything is done. And now if I click on this public URL, you see that we are now running the Uva Buga Tech Generation Wave UI using a very simple Google Colab doc. And now you can have conversation with any character that you want for absolutely free. And if you want to know what kind of conversations you can have, well, I highly suggest that you watch my previous video on the subject. Because yes, now there is absolutely no limit. Nothing is stopping you from having spicy conversations. So yeah, there you go. Now I think that no matter who you are, you should be able to use the Ubaboga Tech Generation Wave UI either on your local computer or on any devices for absolutely free. So definitely try this out. And there you have it folks, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Thank you also so much to my Patreon supporters for supporting my videos. You guys are absolutely awesome. You people are the ones who support me so I can make these videos for you. So thank you so much. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.